Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian here at the Paris Air Show at Le Bourget, the famous airfield just outside the French capital, where we're covering this incredible air show. We're on the UK Pavilion on the Martin Baker uh, stand. Our coverage here is sponsored by Bell and Leonardo DRS, and I am strapped into Martin Baker's F-35 uh, fighter, uh, Lightning II fighter ejection seat, and Jeff Barnes uh, is here from the Martin Baker team, who's going to give us a tour of the seat uh, and all of its uh, special features. First Jeff? thing I'm going to ask you to do is to step out of the ejection seat. If you'd like to rotate the uh, quick release buckle and release the harness, you'll be able to step away. That's the simple action that the uh, pilot needs to take in order to uh, egress from the ejection seat at the end of a sortie. The uh, ejection seat is configured for the F-35. It suits an occupant weighing between 103 and 245 pounds. Um, using a single seat which is adjustable in both height and harness configuration. Um, the seat as it is uh, equipped at the moment is in the middle position but it tilts forward and aft to accommodate larger and smaller uh, occupants within the cockpit such that they're able to uh, reach and uh, all of the controls and perform each of the different functions that are required of them uh, throughout their sortie. It has um, an integrated harness fitted to the seat, that was the one that you stepped out of. Right. Um, which is again a single harness to accommodate all of the uh, case one through case eight sizes of, of occupants. This is the uh, culmination of many, many years of development of integrated harnesses. Uh, this is a fifth generation harness which uh, automatically adjusts itself around the torso of the occupant um, to allow such a snug fit and one which is safe uh, both during flight and during the emergency egress of the ejection. Broadly speaking, it looks very similar to other Mark 16s with a twin ejection gun system. Um, you can probably see at the rear at the moment the twin ejection guns uh, riding one up each side of the seat. Um, it differs from other uh, Mark 16 ejection seats in that it is very uh, comprehensively integrated with other aircraft systems. So you'll see a lot of pipework and cabling around the back. Um, we see an integrated oxygen bottle um, which allows for... Um, uh, on oxygen operation of the aircraft uh, with the uh, direct oxygen delivery to the pilot not requiring the OBOX system um, and it's a large oxygen bottle to allow completion of sortie and return back to a safe environment. Um, most ejection seats only have an emergency bailout bottle right so um, uh, it, it's there to enhance the performance of the whole jet not just be a life saving down device. in the center section an electronic uh, sequencing system which is used uh, to monitor the performance of the seat, the environment into which the seat ejects, it uh, senses altitude and deceleration and as a result of that altitude and deceleration is able to determine the speed of the ejection and the height at which it takes place to select the correct mode for the seat in which to operate, um, deploying the parachute as quickly as is safe to minimize the terrain clearance required for a safe ejection. There's a full survival pack in the pan which has a variety of different scales of contents depending on the theater of operation of the individual users. Obviously with the F-35 there are many different users around the world, uh, some of whom require uh, operational specific uh, contents. Jeff Lawrence of the Martin Baker team, thanks so much for giving us a, a tour, tour of the seat.